Hi guys, I'm Don Tran, a former Marine Raider and the co-founder of the Underwater Torpedo League and Deep End Fitness. And I'm Prime Hall. I'm the co-founder as well with Don. I met Don back in 2009 when we started uh, training for special operations on Camp Pendleton here in Southern California. And uh, we started, you know, we've been going ever since. Yeah, so how Prime and I actually met was uh, at Marine Special Operations Assessment and Selection. Uh, we were doing a team event where I was really struggling physically, so Prime was able to help me carry these 40-pound jugs for three miles. So that's how we kind of met and kind of built that relationship and that bond together ever since then. That was a month-long training, but we still had a year-long special operations course ahead of us. So coming back here to Camp Pendleton, I was working at a pool at that time on base and uh, I offered to bring Don in. So Don came into the pool and we, we became training buddies as we got ready for special operations training. So we had about nine months uh, and access to a deep end pool uh, and weights there at the pool and the hills of Camp Pendleton. And so all we did was train and we found the most innovative ways for us to uh, train and push ourselves and get more confident, uh, not only as instructors at the pool, but for future candidates about to go into special operations training. So what we realized was when uh, throughout our military training, it's always a sink or swim scenario where they're yelling at you, they want you to jump in the water, they want you to carry these weights, they want you to run 10 miles or whatever it is for that scenario. But we always noticed that it was always a super stressful environment coming on. So that's where we kind of developed the training program in the pool to, hey, calm breeds calm. And the military actually teaches that, but not within the really standards that they're actually training. So. From that moment, like we're like, hey, we just got to be stay calm as much as possible, stay calm in the water, and that directly translates to everything else we're doing. So we just kind of mix that all together, and which is what Deep End Fitness is now, kind of the poolside functional fitness, and then uh, the pool swims and the underwater work that we're doing now. This is an innovative way for us to train, but that was what we knew, and we had access as we were water survival instructors, and we had access to the pools on base to do this type of training that we were running and facilitating. Um, now when we got out in 2017 and we were looking to continue doing this training and also looking to continue playing this game that we've been playing which we had called underwater football in the military. That's what Underwater Torpedo League is now. Those two things did not exist for us to play as civilians. So um, we did all the research and looking at the landscape of underwater sports since the 1940s and 50s and with the Olympic platform and arena to introduce the sport. We launched uh, our beta test experiment at the end of 2017. So we got two pools here in Southern California, um, started two teams, and at the end of eight weeks competed in the first Aqua Bowl, which is basically our championship with Underwater Torpedo League. Now, the, the training aspect of it and the training arm, Deep End Fitness, we've been doing since the first training session that we did with Underwater Torpedo League. So before you play the sport, you go through a screening process and a fitness regimen that get that makes you prepared for underwater torpedo league and that's deep in fitness since the beginning we started training we we're lucky enough to do an nfl training package here in san diego um, where we trained um, some off-season nfl athletes for a six-week period um, they pretty much opened up their network to us we started training nfl players uh, mma fighters uh, some olympic swimmers and the the rollout just goes from there, it's so a pro surfers and stuff like that. So we're extremely fortunate to have that opportunity to, to meet some of these individuals, amazing individuals. Currently, we do have uh, four pools, of course, with COVID going on right now. It's kind of limited to uh, what we have going on um, in Southern California and the restrictions that we have to uphold. Uh, but during a regular season, we have seven pools up and down from LA, Los Angeles, down to San Diego. Um, and that's just in the Southern California um, region. We're really trying to expand out to other key cities 